About four days ago, we set off on our first flight in around eight months. We've left the UK and we've come back to Japan. Now, one of the films that we wanted to make last time we were in Tokyo was trying to survive on vending machine food for 24 hours. We didn't get a chance to film it then, so we're going to do it today. There are more than 2.7 million vending machines across Japan. 80% are made up of beverages. Vending machines for food have dramatically increased, but you have to know where to find them. So the first port of call, it is currently 7 a.m. and the first thing I need is a nice cup of coffee. Interestingly, the vending machines in Japan actually do drinks cold and hot. So I'm gonna grab a coffee. Oh, it's nice and warm. Dotor coffee. I've not tried this one, I've tried the Boss coffee. Nice, it's really hot. That's actually really nice. Some of the coffees are a little bit too sweet. This one's actually not too bad. Um, it's a nice milky coffee. 120 yen. Out of 10? 6.5. It is so warm. It is freezing in Tokyo right now. It's about seven degrees. And this is like a metal cap. Let's try it. Oh, yes, that is gorgeous. It is quite sweet still. I'm gonna give that probably a seven out of 10. So the next thing we're looking for is breakfast and there aren't many breakfast vending machines in Japan, but there is one item we're on the hunt for and that is corn soup. We've just been walking down the street and come across this little corner, like an indoor corner, where it looks like you can stand and have your beverage or drink some corn soup. So let's see what's inside. So some of the things you can get in these beverage vending machines are milk tea, which is hot, coffees, cold drinks, energy drinks, tomato drinks, and an honorable mention, my favorite, Nata de Coco, which is basically like a cold drink with bits of coconut in it. So we found our first vending machine selling the corn soup, but it's out of stock. <coughs> so after a little bit of searching, about 10 minutes from our hotel, we finally found the Boss Rich Corn Soup. 130 yen. It still baffles me that these things come out of vending machines. We do not get hot vending machines in the UK. Oh no, that smells like a tin of sweet corn. Was I supposed to shake that? I actually really don't hate that. I thought I wasn't gonna like it at all. That's actually really quite nice. It's like sweet, obviously it's sweet corn. It's slightly salty. Really, really, really savory as well at the same time. That's really nice. Honestly, Leanne, you need to try this. There's also little chunks of sweet corn at the bottom. Uh, one thing I will say, Tokyo is renowned for not having any bins anywhere nearby, but if you look by the side of the vending machines, there's always a little bin. So we fast forwarded a couple of hours. It's lunchtime now, and we've headed to Meiji Jingu Gaien because we've heard online there is a row with tons and tons of vending machines with loads of different food options. So that's what we're gonna go check out now. And he's starving now. <laughs> okay, so a bit of a disaster. We've traveled halfway across Tokyo to come to this spot because it is renowned for having uh, loads of hot food vending machines. And they seem to have got rid of them all. There is not one hot food vending machine here. The only thing there is is an ice cream machine. So looks as though I'm getting ice cream. Um, I'm absolutely starving, we're gonna to have to like look for something else. But yeah, bit of a bit of a hurdle to hit. Green tea, cookies and cream, fragrant strawberry, cookies and cream, milk with multicolored chocolate. This is lunch. Mm. It's like a nice smooth caramel vanilla ice cream. It's quite nice, 200 yen, really cheap. Not as good as a hot meal though. Not as good as a hot meal. I was expecting ramen, gyoza. Hot dogs. Got ice cream. So we're feeling a little bit downheartened because basically he's had corn soup and, and an ice cream. So he's really, really hungry. We found a place in Shinjuku station apparently uh, that does onigiri in a vending machine. So we're gonna try and head to that. And then we have seen cake in a can before, so maybe he can get some dessert and eat cake in a can. It looks as though Shinjuku might be the place to go. So it seems as though trying to survive on vending machine food is actually more of a challenge than we thought. 
uh, especially in the past few years, it looks as though a lot of the hot food vending machines that were there have now gone. There are still ramen vending machines around Tokyo, but they seem to be selling frozen ramen that you heat up back at your own house or apartment. We're gonna keep trying, but we're not sure if we're gonna make it throughout the whole day. We might have to cheat a little bit. Vending machines on the back of the truck, but none of them are hot food. Ice cream though. One eternity later. So we hope you guys appreciate this. To make this video, we have just walked another 45 minutes from the last place that we were to come to Shinjuku Station and now we have to search the whole of the underground Shinjuku Station to find one machine that sells rice balls. I hope we find them. So after 45 minutes of walking, we finally found the onigiri machine. But I think you can only pay IC card and we don't have an IC card. So we can't even buy it. We're getting desperate. I'm really, really hungry now. I think we may actually, in all seriousness, be heading all the way to Shibuya for a banana. And just to really drive things home, we have to walk past all of this incredible smelling food to get back into Shinjuku Station. This smells so good. I'm so hungry. So just as we were about to give up, we've just come around the corner on the platform in Shijuku Station and we've just found this beautiful, beautiful vending machine. We've got maple caramel danish, spicy curry, apple pie. We've got cream buns, maple chocolate, grapes, chocolate, brownies, sweet potato pie. I'm going for the curry bun. I'm not gonna eat it in the station, I'll eat it as soon as we leave the station, but I'm buying this right now. <laughs> We finally have food. So apparently the banana vending machine is up. There it is. There it is. There it is. We just found it. Hang on, look, look. I'm gonna eat my curry bun. It is very dry. It's all right. It's filling me up, which is what I need. Give this like four and a half out of 10. So this bad boy cost me 150 yen. It is very, very green. Definitely not ripe, but it's filling my stomach, which is what's really important at the moment. So we just got some tomato juice. Technically my second drink of the day. That is tomato-y. <laughs> it tastes like tin tomatoes. What a random day. Tastes like it smells. <laughs> so I've wanted to try this cake in a can for so many years. This one looks absolutely delicious. It was in Shibuya in one of the game centers and it actually looks so much better than I thought it would considering it's a cake in a can. This is the Sakura cream cake and it just looks so nice. It's quite heavy and it's cold, so hopefully it's fresh. It's like a little pull cord at the top and it comes with its own spoon. Wow, look at the top. I think this is like a seasonal special one. Mmm. Okay, wow. That is actually genuinely really, really good. Let's get one of the little sakura. Genuinely, so, so good. It's like creamy, cinnamon. It's just amazing. The cake's really soft. This was only 980 yen. Definitely worth it. Mm. Honestly, I'd give that like an eight, eight and a half. Mm. 
So the next thing we got are these macarons. These were 350 yen? No, these were 850 yen, sorry. So still quite pricey. You get three macarons. Let's give these a go. I think these are vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. There's ice cream inside of them. They're nice, really light, very sweet. Put a good quality macaron. And then the other thing we got was the latte ice cream sandwich, which is like in a wafer. Mm. Oh wow. That was very, very artificial. <laughs> that tastes like they poured like a whole bottle of strawberry crusher into that. This was 150 yen. If you want food, Shibuya is where it's at. We have been all around Tokyo and we have barely found any food vending machines. Shibuya, we went into the arcade, we found tons. Um, granted, they were all desserts. So yeah, Shibuya is where it's at. <clears throat> so that basically sums up our day living on vending machine food. We had to travel across the whole of Tokyo. We started off near Oshiage. We ended up going to Shibuya, Shinjuku. We went to Meiji Jingu Gaien, and we found very little in terms of hot food. We found tons and tons of desserts. We found a couple of cans of hot soup. To sum up, can you live on vending machine food in Tokyo? Probably, but should you? Absolutely not. There are that many amazing restaurants where food is as cheap, if not cheaper, than some of the vending machine options. Not only that, but there's like convenience stores all around Japan that serve amazing hot food. It's really just not worth trying to, to survive on vending machine food. It's a fun little challenge for the day, but other than that, there's, there's really not much point in, in, in trying. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was a fun one to film, um, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.